What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction. Back with some more hardcore. And we're back with some more early hardcore, a gabber. We're going to listen to another tune by the Twins Artcore, one of my favorite producers, one of the producers whose tunes I will buy on site, meaning without even hearing the track. Uh, and yeah, along with Formac, uh, one of his friends and friend of the channel as well, as well as Slugnoid, uh, David Stella. So yeah, just one of my favorite artists and one of my favorite genres or subgenres, which is to say I really do love the early hardcore um, sort of artcore gabber sound. Um, ultimately, I like different flavors of hardcore, um, including, you know, more mainstream hardcore as well as like speedcore. I like all different stuff, uh, but I would say my favorite stuff is like 90s hardcore and sort of transcore from Cenobite and so on. Uh, and Danny Tribe, aka Twins Artcore, is a master of this style. Uh, I should point out this is a single-sided record. It uh, came out in November of last year on uh, his Twins label. Uh, he also runs the No Pizza Rave record uh, label. But yeah, we're going to listen to a tune called Sport Howland Zweed on Fire. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, I'm intrigued by the title. It sounds like a venue that has been set alight uh, by the flames of hardcore. So um, yeah, ultimately I did listen to a, a sort of preview of the track when I first discovered that this release existed, uh, you know, instantly ordered it. Uh, so I've heard like, I'd say a 45 second uh, segment of the track, but I tried not to listen to the whole thing because, you know, now that I've started doing these reaction videos, it is fun to listen to a track for the first time in its entirety in this context where I sort of force myself to think about it and talk about it because then I think I come to a better understanding of the tune more quickly. Um, not that, you know, listening over the years in the way that I have um, is much different from what I do here. But again, I don't necessarily talk aloud after I listen to something by myself. So now that I've done these reaction videos, forcing myself to think about a tune in the moment actually come, makes me come to certain revelations that maybe would take more listens on my own to sort of pick up on. Nevertheless, let's get to it. This is the Twins Art Core. The track is, I believe, Sport Howland's Weed on Fire, though I may be mispronouncing that. Uh, this is from 2022, and it's on the Twins label, uh, which is, uh, as I said, run by Danny Tribe, a.k.a. the Twins Art Core. Ugh.
what are the kinds of things I would like to hear in a hardcore tune? Just play one of his tracks like that. That's what I want to hear. The atmosphere. Masterpiece. Basically, I want to shoot a new uh, Sounds from the Void uh, DJ mix, which is like a DJ video mix series I do uh, for hardcore. Now, admittedly, I got a, a kitten a couple months ago, uh, and she's amazing. She's hilarious. And by the way, I actually have a teacup with her on it because I'm just, you know, when you're into uh, things, you have to do things like that. Uh, but no, uh, she has made mixing a little more difficult lately. She still is like very obsessed with spinning records, so um, I'm not sure exactly when that'll be able to be posted, uh, but whenever I do get around to being able to mix a hardcore mix without my cat jumping on the turntables, um, this will have to be like the opening record of the next set. So yeah, just a top, top tune, like absolute class, like without even hearing the other tune in its entirety, it's already worth it buying this record. So yeah, once again, big shout out to Twins Hardcore, big shout out to Roberto uh, Formek. Um, helps me get hardcore records because, you know, sometimes out here in the States, it's not always like clear when stuff is coming out and, you know, they're often like limited runs, limited pressings. So, you know, if you're not there, like at the beginning, you can miss them. And so, um, yeah, over the last couple of years, he's really helped me not miss out on a lot of great hardcore vinyls. So big ups to you as well. Let me know what you think of the track. I will see you next time. Peace.